What's going on YouTube, it's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, Apple has confirmed that WWDC 2015 will be happening. So just a little earlier today, uh, today is April 14th, 2015, Apple went ahead and sent out, not really invites, um, but the broad announcement that WWDC 2015 will be happening this year, um, June 8th through 12th. Now this event happens every year just before the beginning of summer and Apple loves to uh, go ahead and announce some new betas of not only iOS but also OS X. And the last couple of years of WWDC have been pretty successful. We've seen things like iOS 7, OS X Yosemite. So it's no doubt that it'll be awesome to see what Apple has up their sleeves this summer um, when they announce the latest betas. And I'm looking forward to it. So as always, let's have a look at the uh, invitation that Apple sent out. So it says the epicenter of change, WWDC 2015. And that WWDC font is actually changed. Um, it looks like the Apple Watch San Francisco font, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you look at all the artwork around this um, invitation, it's actually very similar to, if you if you really look in the background, uh, the Photos app icon. Now, if this really gives a hint um, that the Photos app may have something in store, I don't really know. Um, of course, the Photos app for the Mac uh, just came out and is in the very early stages, so maybe Apple's going to show off something there. I thought that was a little bit interesting. I didn't see anybody reporting on that, um, but that might not be the case. It's just a cool looking uh, invite. And also the epicenter of change is a really good tagline and it could mean that something big is on the way either for iOS or OS X or even both. So just like last year, tickets are going to be raffled off. You can't actually buy them uh, right off of Apple's uh, developer website. Um, you can enter to be selected to purchase one. Then if you are selected, um, they will automatically bill you $1,600 if you do enter. That is the price of the ticket, which is a lot of money. So uh, if you're a developer and you want to get into uh, developing an iOS or OS X, or if you've been developing for a while, this is definitely a conference you don't want to miss. It's for a full week, um, but the main announcements, of course, take place on the first day uh, when Tim Cook and all the other Apple executives will take the stage to show us the latest and greatest in iOS and OS X and maybe even more. Now, some things that are expected, obviously, are iOS 9 and OS X uh, 10.11. We know that iOS 9 is most likely going to feature a lot of um, improvements and um, just a, a smoother type of UI and interface. You know, it's pretty nice now. Um, they've definitely fixed a lot since the first beta of iOS 7 all the way up to um, iOS 8.4, what I'm running right now. Um, but uh, there is still room, of course, for improvements. So we're most likely going to see a lot of um, speed improvements and just overall system reliability improvements. Um, but hopefully there will be some really cool features down the road that come to iOS 9 that will make it a convincing upgrade. Now Apple's also expected to unveil their latest uh, thing that's up and coming and that is supposed to be their music streaming service which they're supposed to kill off what they own currently beats music and compete with something against like Spotify or Pandora. Now yesterday Apple unleashed iOS 8.4 beta 1 which completely redesigned the music app. It didn't give us any early access beta to that service um, but it gives a very clear hint that this is something that Apple's working on and it's coming. And if you want to check that out, I did a video on it yesterday. I'll leave the link down in the description so you can go check it out. It's actually pretty cool and I'm looking forward to that as well. And we can also expect the latest betas of OS X, which are most likely going to be uh, 10.11. As you know, we just got a big upgrade last year, uh, which was OS X 10.10 Yosemite. And that was a major overhaul uh, to the system OS since the very first um, OS 10 uh, over a decade ago. Um, so it was a big deal and it redesigned the interface and made it very similar uh, to what iOS 7 and iOS 8 look like. So it kind of brought things together unified uh, with continuity and as well as handoff and being able to make phone calls uh, off of any of your iDevices uh, using the power of your iPhone um, and also being able to forward text to all of them as well. So it's some really cool features there. Um, so I don't necessarily think um, 10.11 is going to be a major upgrade. I think there's going to be uh, some stability improvements here and there. And if there's any features that that come packed into iOS 9, any new features, um, they'll most likely follow with OS X 10 or OS 10.11 um, as well, because now they're trying to unify um, both operating systems as much as possible, um, as soon as possible. There's also been some rumors that there may be a web TV service for the Apple TV. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, they've stayed away from the Apple TV for quite some time, but we'll see if maybe that's something they announce. It would be pretty cool to see uh, if they picked up on it for once. 
And there's also a rumor that we'll finally see the watch SDK for the Apple Watch. Um, that's something that we're more on, kind of on the fence of. We're hoping uh, that that's something that will come along. Apple said later in 2015, they'll be introducing the watch SDK so that developers um, could develop their own watch apps that don't rely on the phone because right now it's just watch kit so that you can use um, separate, not separate apps, but apps that will kind of help you get through your day with the Apple Watch that runs strictly off the iPhone. Um, while that's really cool, it would be nice to have native apps on the Apple Watch that don't rely on iPhone. And so Apple may just open up the Watch SDK or give us a little preview of it um, coming this June in WWDC. So that's about it, guys. That wraps things up. That is WWDC 2015. Be sure to look forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. iOS 9, OS 10.11, as well as the new streaming service uh, with the music app, of course, as well as the Apple Watch SDK. It's all stuff to look forward to coming at the beginning of this June again. June 8th through 12th are the dates 2015 in San Francisco, California. Um, I'll leave all links down in the description so you can keep updated on that. Of course, be waiting for coverage from me. And all this stuff is announced from Apple, so be sure to click that subscribe button to stay updated. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button once again below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.